So one of the questions you might be asking yourself is why even make your web application dynamic, especially when it comes to dealing with the complexities of adding something like JavaScript? Well, part of the reason is because it just adds a nice fluid experience for your end users. And the more fluid experiences you have, the easier it is for your users to interact with your system. The other thing is the frustration that might be felt when you go to save something and it reloads the page and maybe it takes a long time or maybe it doesn't give you all of the necessary errors quickly. Um, so those things in combination are really one of the reasons that you wanna use this fluid JavaScript or these dynamic websites. Now, another reason is actually displaying data. So if you wanted this data item to change over time without the page refreshing, how do you actually go about doing that? And it's usually done through JavaScript or through tools like HTMX, which we'll talk about in a moment. So the dynamicness of actually adding content to a web page, but also even be able to save that content without refreshing that web page. So let's go ahead and implement HTMX now. This will allow us to do all of the things we've done so far and more without writing any JavaScript. I think it's actually very, very useful. And so what we're gonna do is follow their quick start of getting the script, the actual JavaScript that they have on our page so we can write some HTMX. So let's go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna bring it on over into base.html and put it right here. So I'm using HTMX version 1.5, but I would imagine everything I'm gonna cover now and also in the future is not gonna be a whole lot different than this because it's already pretty full featured as is, and if it does change, it's not gonna be something uh, that's gonna to relate to this most likely. Uh, but if it does change, it's gonna be for the better. So um, at the very least, we will see, generally speaking, how HTMX works now. And so let's go ahead and add one package into Django which is pip install django-htmx, and I'll hit enter. And so in my case, I'm using Django HTMX 1.2.1, uh, but of course, if you have a newer version, feel free to upgrade it and upgrade pip if you'd like. Um, so it's kind of up to you on how that works. The main thing that we wanna keep for sure is just this version of Django. And since I am using a new package here, I wanna update my requirements. So we'll go ahead and add that Django-HTMX in here. Okay, so now that we have some of the basics of HTMS implemented, let's go ahead and make sure that Django HTMX is implemented by going into settings and into installed apps. We're gonna go ahead and add in Django underscore HTMX. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the HTMX middleware. And if you don't want to know what middleware is, I'll explain it once we get there for Django HTMX. So Django HTMX dot middleware dot HTMX middleware. And when in doubt, if these settings were to change, they would be listed on the Django HTMX repository. So you can see some of the changes there as well as their docs. But the actual Django HTMX is not required. It just makes things a little bit easier on us um, as we'll see in a moment. Okay, so now let's actually use HTMX. We're gonna go to that create update page again. And on our form element here, it's gonna be really simple. It's literally just hx-post and then the URL. So this command right here is telling HTMX, hey, send a post method to this URL. So it's kind of combining these two things right here. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now I'm gonna go and update my page here. Just gonna go ahead and hit save. Now it says data saved, but it also has two hello worlds. That's kind of strange. So let's go ahead and try this as pasta HTMX, right? And just make sure it did save. I hit save, it says hello world again. So if I refresh that page, those hello worlds go away. And if I go into the admin, it also is showing me that new changed value. Cool. So what if I add in ingredients? The JavaScript is still there. Let's go ahead and do pasta noodles again or whatever and hit save. Now, it seems like the data was saved. It says data was saved, let's take a look. Hey, what do you know? So that dynamic JavaScript still works with the HTMX, which should imply that other kinds of JavaScript will work as well. But one of the things that is kind of strange is when I do hit save, it's saying hello world in the search bar over again. So what's actually happening here? Well, let's take a look at our rendered page here. 
right? So this entire render page, what's actually happening is it's re-rendering this page over and over again. Now, the reason for that, it has to do with this command right here. It's going to hx-post to this current view, which is, of course, this view right here. And at the very end of this view, we re-render that exact same page all over again. So it's just continuously rendering that page. Now, when I say rendering, it's actually just replacing this entire form element with that re-rendered page. And so if we look at the browser, let's refresh in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and inspect the element. I just wanna see what happens to the DOM or the, the browser right here. So I'm gonna look at this form element, okay? So I've got this form element, I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna hit save, and that form element is now replaced with our original template, right? So here's, here's uh, that form element again, should be right here. Okay, so there it is again. I hit save again, open it up, and what do you know, it's replaced again with that template element. And so it's actually replacing everything from this create update, including base.html. Now the browser is smart enough to know to ignore pretty much everything other than what's inside of the body content here. So it's really just going off of that. Uh, which I think is cool and also not cool. But the Django HTMX, the actual middleware specifically, gives us access to doing something like this. So after this if statement here, I'm gonna go ahead and say if request.htmx, now I'm gonna return a different rendered template. So I'm gonna go ahead and say recipes, and let's go ahead and do partials. Sometimes you'll see that as snippets instead of partials, but I'll leave it in as partials. And I'll just give this forms.html with the exact same context, okay? So now what I wanna do is create that template. So inside of my recipes, I'm gonna go ahead and do partials. And then inside of there, we'll go ahead and say forms.html. And then this is a HTMX rendered template. Save that back in here. Now we hit save, boom. That is an asynchronous JavaScript request. That is Ajax right there that happened, but we didn't write a line of JavaScript. We just used all of the things we're used to using when rendering content. We let the browser and HTMX handle everything else. So this, this, little, this little line right here is what did that. And of course it replaced what's inside of this form element. So if we look inside this form element, let's take a look now, we see that the actual form itself is still there. So this is still technically a form. And of course, it's gonna continuously render to this hx-post. Now, I'm not gonna get into all of the HTMX details just yet, but instead what I'm gonna do is inside of forms.html, the reason I called it that is I'm actually going to grab this entire form right here and bring it in right here. So now if I save it and run this again and hit save, what happens is it brings me back that same data or it seems like it does, uh, but it also does initialize a new form. We'll solve that in a second. Um, but the idea here is it is actually saving this data. So new HTMX, I hit save and I look in here, it is still that data. If I refresh in here, it should also still be that data. The message is not coming through. Now, why is the message not coming through? Well, it's not rendering the same template. It's rendering a completely different template like we went to a different page and originally our message was outside of that form. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and put it inside of that form, which is completely fine. We save that and we refresh in here. Now I hit save and what do you know? Data saved. And it will do that every single time. Now there are ways to improve this absolutely. So that's not something I wanna do just yet. In other words, ways to improve this particular message through HTMX. And so what I do wanna do is I want to change how this form is coming through. So if I come in to my form itself, the first thing is I'm gonna change how it's rendered altogether. I can remove it now from the original view rendering and just use includes and recipes, partials, and forms.html. Now, in this case, I actually don't need to render anything else with it. I don't have to say with form equals to form because I can just infer that with this includes tag, right? Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's re-render, or sorry, not includes, but include like that. 
There we go. And so let's jump back in. And so now it's still rendering the same form, um, but then when I actually go through HTMX, it's only going to use that same form. It's I, I only have one place to edit that form now, and which is actually going to bring me to my next point, which is these nesting of forms and forms. So if I keep doing this this way, it's going to keep nesting that form element, which of course is not great. So what we can do in here is we can say hx dash swap and do outer HTML. And that means that the entire form is now gonna be changed, okay? So if I click on this, I can hit save, and there it goes, okay? So yeah, there's other ways to do that as well, but now I'm not nesting the same form over and over again. So that is also pretty nice. Now, we have HTMX running, it's now working, and we also have a way to dynamically still add this data in. So if I go to add more, Notice it still dynamically worked. I'm gonna go ahead and put in Pico de Gallo and some, that's kind of a weird pasta, uh, but let's go ahead and hit save. And what do you know? It's working, data is saved, I refresh in here. And so now it's showing me that it does work still hand in hand with that original data. Uh, but now if I hit add more, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Right, so it's not necessarily gonna be perfectly working with JavaScript. There's still things that I would have to improve with the JavaScript itself for that dynamicness to work together. But I actually don't wanna use JavaScript at all for this same feature. This same feature can be done with HTMX, which is what we'll do next. But the idea here now is we have a Ajax form without writing a single line of JavaScript. Now, Ajax is not that hard to do with JavaScript, but this is incredibly easy to do, uh, which is why I highly recommend you stick with HTMX. Now, one of the questions you might be wondering is, can we actually change the view that's gonna handle an HTMX itself? So in other words, this HTMX post, can it go to a different view? And the answer to that is absolutely. It does not have to go to the same view that this is in right here.